Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to look at a product demo from Palantir for their brand new platform AIP which is a super exciting platform it can potentially uh, really blow up Palantir and really blow up their expansion plans. Obviously, we need to hear the next earnings call and hear, need to hear more about management. I've done a lot of videos about that. I think that this is very a game-changing uh, product for Palantir where they use large language models and uh, we didn't really have a lot of information about this platform until now. Now they finally released the demo. I want to show you uh, what they show in the demo and then I'm going to comment on it in the end. So if you like this content, all I ask for you is hit the like button and make sure that you're subscribed. And one more additional question maybe is that you follow me on Twitter for more stocks and Palantir related news. My ticker symbol is at Vince is bullish. I'm also going to put it in the description box below. Let's begin the video. AIP empowers organizations to use large language models and other cutting-edge AI safely and securely. The platform allows you to do three things. First, AIP lets you deploy large language models and any other AI within your private network anchored in your private data. It helps you create a full fidelity, real-time representation of all of the concepts, actions, and decisions within your business. Every you realize that he said that um, they, they had this safely and securely underlined because we said this in uh, many videos that this would be the biggest issue. Like the reason why Nike and governments cannot use ChatGPT is because you don't want to share your data with ChatGPT. And if you ask ChatGPT, uh, hey, when is this container coming from China? Uh, they don't have your data, right? So it cannot work on your system. Uh, so Palantir has its own AI, but here, uh, so they, they were underlying that they, they are the ones that can connect your data safely and securely. And then they mentioned that with their AI or any other AI in your system. So that's very, very interesting. Every warehouse, every shipment, every delay that can then be used by AI. Second, it enables you to define the ground rules around which data LLMs and AI can and cannot see and what they can and cannot do on behalf of humans. You can do this based on data sensitivity, laws and regulations, and competencies of the model. AIP provides the framework for AI to hand off tasks to other trusted task-specific models as well as to trusted humans. Finally, with this great power comes great responsibility. AIP brings industry-leading guardrails to control, govern, and trust the AI-powered business of tomorrow. AIP automatically captures a full digital footprint of all AI inputs, outputs, and actions, including which AI was used for which decision, which humans were in the loop, and how they align with specific business purposes. Let's take a look at it in action. In this demo, let's say you're a leader at a U.S.-based manufacturing company with customers all over the country. You've just received an alert that a hurricane is forecasted to hit one of your major distribution centers in the south, and you'll need to shut it down. You want to know whether you should accelerate, delay, or cancel orders to your customers and other remediations you can take. Here in AIP Terminal, you can ask questions and collaborate with a large language model or LLM. To what extent will Hurricane Cynthia affect our distribution centers in Louisiana? As well as follow-ups. How does this impact customer orders and associated revenue? Under the hood, as you ask questions, the LLM is able to traverse a data foundation powered by real-time data feeds from all across your business. Importantly, you can control which parts of the business the LLM has access to. For example, we can see here that although the data foundation contains employee-level PII data, the LLM can't see or access that data. This has been informative. You want to understand your options and take action. You can ask AIP to simulate a baseline scenario. What would happen if we shut down the affected distribution center? It uses a transportation network optimizer model and shows you the impact on backlogs, revenue, and commitments, and highlights the impact on your highest priority customers. You can also see which specific orders can be seamlessly fulfilled by other distribution centers. This is a good start, but you want to do more. You want to know if you should charter additional trucks to increase the volume of deliveries before and after the closure. 
What are some options for chartering additional transportation for order fulfillment and the impact? AIP offers three simulated courses of action alongside estimated cost. Option B, a 20% truck capacity increase, seems to have the best cost-benefit trade-off and your highest priority orders will all be taken care of. After validating it further, we propose you a plan for cross-functional sign-off for manufacturing, supply chain, and customer service stakeholders. Let's look under the hood again. Many of these steps require a deep understanding of how your business works. LLMs alone don't have the right context, and we definitely don't want the LLM to give answers not grounded in reality. AIP connects LLMs with trusted models across your business, including forecasting, optimization, machine learning, and standard procedures. AIP then... So funny how they're addressing different concerns that people have. Uh, one super big uh, concern is that uh, ChatGPT, for example, hallucinates, meaning it gives you super confident, very wrong answers. And you don't want your AI to be doing the same thing. And they specifically mention it here that, you know, you can tweak certain things to make sure that you get max reliability of your data. So they're addressing the, you know, the safety and trustworthiness. They're addressing the transparency, addressing who, it, what data the AI can see and not see. And uh, they're addressing the hallucinations. So this is actually a very, very good demo. ...facilitates a secure handoff between these models as needed, which keeps each model in its own lane. This lets you then use the LLM plus all of your other models in concert safely to enable reasoning through the different scenarios and courses of action. All stakeholders have approved your plan and you now want your operational team to get cracking. Much of the chartering and rerouting has already happened through automation as you authorized. The operational team can monitor from their dedicated workspace and adjust as any surprises come up. We'll also need to stay in the loop for certain steps by policy, which is verifying customer consent for early deliveries. As they make decisions and updates, routing and optimization models rerun autonomously on their behalf within the limits around key KPIs. As decisions are made, they are continually pushed to your operational systems triggering real-world action. They're also logged for future review. Let's go under the hood one last time and look at what enables your organization to safely govern LLMs and other AI to assist you through scenarios such as this one. Here, in the AIP control panel, you can set the guardrails and limits per model, including which data objects they can see, which actions they can recommend or take on behalf of humans, which tasks and workflows they are trusted to drive, who can use them, how cost is attributed, and so on. You and your organization have formed an optimal, multi-pronged plan of attack and are taking real-world action within minutes, all using natural language within AIP without a single line of code. Wow, this was a super good demo. It contained all the hype words <laughs> that investors need to hear, meaning, you know, AI, large language models. I mean, that's kind of a joke that I'm, I'm saying between you and me. The real buzzwords that it was including is what these big fish customers actually uh, need to hear, which is the safety and trust that the model doesn't hallucinate, that you can incorporate different models, like basically Palantir becomes like a guardrail uh, and it lets uh, you use other AI models but st still makes them stay in, in lane and uh, not hallucinate. and. Most importantly, you know, you can very easily determine which uh, data the, the LLMs can or the different AI models can see, uh, which employees can interact, which decisions the AI can take on its own, which decisions you have to have humans involved. This is actually all the things that Alex Carr was talking about. And it's, it was a super good demo. And it's so funny because, you know, you, when I see this, I'm like, okay, can an AI really do this? But then you realize the, you know, Tyson food guy who explained that their Palantir software was predicting where COVID would break out in the factories and then how many infected cases they will have week by week. And then they have to close down the factories. And that actually happened. That is a validated use case. So this, what they showed here is really something that the program can easily do. And why I think that this is so important is because it opens up Palantir to be used really by the whole organization. This was also something that they really stressed that 
this data of, you know, like how will this affect my warehouse? You know, how do I get uh, trucks? I think that this was, you could get this data out of earlier versions of Foundry as well. They, they were there, but you needed to be trained on Foundry. You needed to be a, a bit of a programmer, you know? Uh, but with this large language model, you don't need to do that anymore. So that means that way, way more people can do it. It's easier to implement, uh, lower risk for companies, and it makes for higher results because more people in the company can safely use it within their own uh, reach. So I believe that this is super positive. Uh, the earnings is coming up soon, guys. I can't wait to see. Uh, Alex Carp has been hinting that it's going really good for them. They're getting a lot of new customers. Uh, because of the hype chat GPT has created and how aware it has made uh, the big companies that they need AI and they need to implement AI and as Alex Carp said it's the companies that can solve the AI the safety and trust and you know to integrate uh, the data uh, not sure that it's it's a bit late but he said it was three things and I think it's along these lines and Palantir is really the only company that can do this and this is super bullish for the company. So I'm very happy. Can't wait for earnings. Thank you so much, guys, that you watched this video. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.